Welcome back guys. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 3.2 quadratic simultaneous equations. 3.2 represents chapter 3, section 2 of the Pearson A level maths, PO maths year 1 textbook. So over here, I've got a beautiful exam style question. Solve the simultaneous equations given. Now, in my video 3.1, I covered two different techniques. The first one is called the process of elimination and the second one is called the process of substitution. To solve these simultaneous equations, we need to use the process of substitution. The very first step is to label your equations. So I've got equation one and I've got equation two. Now I'm going to make x the subject in equation one. So if I make x the subject, I get x equal three minus two y. I can call this equation equation number three. So now what do we do? Well, we can substitute equation three into equation two. So substitute equation 3 into equation 2. If I do this, I get the following result. 3 minus 2y in bracket squared minus 2y plus 4y squared is equal to 18. So now I've got an equation involving y. I can solve for y. So how do we solve this beautiful equation? Well, to solve this equation, we need to first expand this double bracket and then take everything to the left-hand side. Okay, so we can open this up into double brackets. I can now expand the double bracket, so 3 times 3 is 9 and so on. Then I've got minus 2y plus 4y squared is equal to 18. So now I can simplify the left-hand side. If I simplify the left-hand side, I get 8y squared minus 14y plus 9 equal to 18. Right, so now we can take the 18 to the left-hand side. And if we do this, we get the following result. 8y squared minus 14y minus 9 is equal to 0. So over here, ladies and gents, we have a quadratic equation. We can solve a quadratic equation either by factorization or completing the square or by using the quadratic formula. So you can actually solve this equation very easily. Okay, so if you solve this equation, you end up with y equal 9 over 4 and y equal minus a half. You can verify that these are the correct solutions by using the equation function on your classmates calculator. Okay, so what we need to do now is substitute these y values back into equation 3 in order to work out the x values. Okay, so when y is equal to 9 over 4, x is equal to 3 minus 2 multiplied by 9 over 4. Okay, so this will give me x equal minus 3 over 2. When y is equal to minus a half, x is equal 3 minus 2 multiplied by minus a half. This would give me x equal 4. So, if we put this all together, we get that the solutions to the simultaneous equations are x equal 4, y equal minus a half, x equal minus 3 over 2, y equal 9 over 4. Okay, so what do we have graphically? Well, graphically, these solutions over here represent the points of intersection between this line and this curve. Okay, so the points of intersection, um, if you were to write it in coordinate form, will just be 4, minus a half and minus 3 over 2, 9 over 4. And that there completes this particular teaching video. If you found it useful, please don't forget to subscribe.